Here we go. I'm trying to learn how to dominate these races like Zach Fulcher, my man here. We got two things we're going to talk about here, man. First of all, what's it like to basically win every single round the entire weekend? Uh, that definitely definitely was a weekend I will never forget. Uh, that week was pretty amazing. Um, just if I could string stuff together like that all the time, you know, it'd be, uh, it'd be really awesome. But uh, definitely, like I was saying, a week I'll never forget. Uh, just glad that I have a company like Mr. Cool to allow me the opportunity to be able to go and do things like that and uh, to be able to have the chance to, to live out my dream. Absolutely, man. And that's, that's the best thing here, man. We get to have a two for one here because we got Zach Fulcher, the racer, Zach Fulcher, the Mr. Cool man. George likes to say, oh, he must have had Mr. Cool in his veins. But I can tell you, it gets hot racing. We all know that, especially door car guys. We all know how hot it gets. Mr. Cool seemingly came onto the scene a few years ago as far as what I saw and a ton of these race car trailers have started to have a Mr. Cool unit in it. Can you tell us a little bit about why people are headed towards the Mr. Cool systems? Yeah, sure. So three years ago uh, in 2021, Mr. Cool signed uh, with me for my first contract. But nobody in motorsports really knew what Mr. Cool was or they had started, they'd known about the mini split stuff, but nobody had really pushed it in Mr. Cool and had pushed uh, mini splits in the motorsports scene. Uh, so that was the primary goal when we got here in 21 was like, hey, let's try and get these trailer manufacturers to see how efficient these things are because uh, we had already been using them in ours, so we knew how good they were. Uh, you didn't have to have a huge generator to run them. You just need a little generator. Lucas Walker put one in his. We ran off an 1,800-watt little backpack generator. Man, it was amazing how, just how efficient they are. So we ended up signing some big uh, manufacturers and now people like uh, United and Jason Deach and Forest River, um, they're all starting to run the Mr. Cool stuff because they believe in it too now and, and they see how efficient that they truly are. And that's why they're starting to, to overtake the rooftops and things like that is because not only are they more efficient, they're putting out more. And when you're hot and, and you're trying to focus and, and do your job on the racetrack, whenever you're hot or cold and, you, and you're not in a comfortable climate, it just makes it that much harder to do your job. That's true, man, because as hard as bracket racing is anymore, especially at the level that you're doing it out here at these big money races, you need every little ounce of extra energy you can have. And when it's 110 degrees outside, you, you're doing all you can just to race, let alone in between rounds when you might be sitting there in that 110 degree heat for three, four, five hours sometimes. And it's really hard to keep focused when you're in that mindset. But it's amazing that that can be ran off of such a small generator because Usually, you know, you have the rooftop units and everything on people's trailers, and then you have to immediately come on and have, you know, a 5,000-watt generator or something. You basically have to have an RV, but with this, you don't. Yeah, yeah, if you don't, you know, that's, I'm, a, I get to travel around and stuff now, and like I said, I'm very thankful for that opportunity, but at heart, I'm as grassroots as it gets, you know, so uh, I wanted to be able to take that same mentality and, and find something and when we came across this, it was, it was a no-brainer, you know, because like I was saying, the 1,800-watt generator, you can throw that in your back seat of your truck, you know, and, and now you can be comfortable doing it. And, and like you said, the racing competition has gotten so competitive these days. Every little thing, you know, ha what are you drinking before you get in the car? Are you drinking a pile of caffeine before you hop in there? Uh, what are you eating throughout the day? Are you eating a bunch of fried stuff, getting sluggish throughout the day? Are you eating fruits? or what do you? I mean, it's crazy that it has gotten to that point. But I feel like that bracket racing is one of the most competitive uh, sports out there to where every little channel, I mean, we're trying to react within thousands of a second. So when you can be uh, going over your stats of your races, when you can be comfortable doing that or working on your car in your trailer in between rounds or whatever, like uh, at the million, you know, it was cold that morning. Everybody was cold starting their cars, back popping through the carburetor, bending their float, you know, things like that. I unloaded mine, fired it right up because I had the heater on the night before. 68 degrees, fired right up, no cold start, no problem. And that's something also that I was unaware of, so it, it provides heat then also. Absolutely, so they are a heat pump and they are, you know, they're just as efficient of a, of a heater as they are an air conditioner. Uh, so like I was saying, you know, you just click it over onto the heat mode and set your desired temperature and you don't have to worry about anything freezing up or because there's several of us that have to use our trailers as our garage you know some of us don't have a garage and you can plug this unit into the side of your house to your 110 receptacle outlet if you have to 
um, or wiring straight to your breaker. But regardless, you can now have a safe place for your car to stay, not have to worry about your block freezing or cracking, or if you put the antifreeze in it or not, or even the electronics, it's not good for them to get cold or extremely hot. So now you can have a climate controlled space to keep your investment protected. Absolutely, man. So where can everybody find any more information about Mr. Cool if they want to go look? So absolutely, you can go and check um, MrCool.com, of course, uh, to find any information. And then our page, EDR Motorsports, and then I'm Zach Fulch. You can follow me directly. And then any, any way that you can uh, get in contact with me, we can get you set up with one. Uh, or if you have any questions, uh, you can look up EDR Motorsports. My phone number's on there, and we'll be happy to help you everybody out. And maybe we'll go look for that phone number and get this guy on for his full show.